Thanks to Mozilla, running large language models has never been easier. Yes, that's the same team behind the popular Firefox browser. Llama File is an amazing open source project that makes it incredibly simple for anyone to run LLMs locally on their machine without requiring technical expertise or downloading a bunch of tools. Simply download the file and execute it. That's it. You'll use a command line tool initially, but once you're set up, you'll interact with the AI through a web interface. Don't worry about remembering complex commands. I've got you covered with a tutorial page linked in the description. The best part? LlamaFile allows you to interact with the AI locally on your machine without anyone monitoring your data, no internet connection required and no subscription fees needed. It's all open source and completely free to use. To get started, head over to the Llama File GitHub page and scroll down to explore the available models. You can also download additional models from Hugging Face, which I'll cover in a future video. For now, let's focus on running Llama File on your local machine. I'll choose the Lava model for this example, which is a multimodal model capable of processing both text and images. Click on the file to download it. Once the file has been downloaded, open a command line interface such as Terminal on a Mac. Next, navigate to the folder where your downloaded model is located. For me, it's the Downloads folder. To do so, type CD followed by a space. CD stands for Choose Directory. Then, either drag and drop the folder from the Finder window onto the terminal, which will automatically fill in the directory path for you, or manually enter the path using the keyboard. Hit Enter to execute the command. Now that you've navigated to the correct directory, enter the command chmod plus x, followed by a space. Then, either use the tab key multiple times to autocomplete the file name of your downloaded model file, or type it in manually using your keyboard. Press Enter to execute the command. This will add executable permissions to the file, allowing it to be run or executed on your Mac. You only need to do this once per new model file. Please note that if you're using a Windows operating system, the process is slightly different. For detailed instructions, please refer to the Quick Start section of the LlamaFile GitHub page. To launch the model, type dot forward slash. Then hit the tab key to autocomplete the file name of your downloaded model file or manually enter it using your keyboard. Finally, hit the Enter key. This will open a window in your default web browser allowing you to interact with the LLM through a chat interface. In the URL bar, you can see that we're working with a local URL, not an Internet address. That means this is running entirely on our machine. For now, let's ignore everything on the screen and focus on the prompt field at the bottom. Let's type in a prompt like, explain what a large language model is. And Lava does a pretty good job explaining it. Now, I could keep chatting with Llama file like we would with ChatGPT, but let's try something different instead. Hit Reset and start a new conversation. Next, let's upload an image and ask our model to describe it. You can use any photo you like. I'll be using a picture I took recently at a nearby lake. Let's upload it, then ask Lava to describe it. As the output appears, we can see that Lava does a pretty good job of describing the image. Sure, it mistakes the swans for ducks, but other than that, it did a great job. To wrap up this session, just closing your browser isn't enough. The LLM will keep running. So, go back to your terminal and hit Ctrl-C on your keyboard. I hope this introduction to Lama file has been helpful. If you have any questions or if there are specific features or use cases you'd like me to explore in future videos, please let me know in the comments below. 
Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me soon in my next video.